Hi guys, I'm Archel A. Galas, and for today's video, I'm going to tackle about ideal gases. But before that, let's recall our definition of a gas. A gas is a phase of matter where atoms of a substance are in motion, like this one. If we make some assumptions about gases, we make some easy predictions that particles in the gas are dimensionless points in random motion and the identity of the gas is irrelevant. Second is that particles don't interact apart from elastic collisions, bouncing off one another like balls on a pool table. These things are not completely true, but they make the math easy and surprisingly accurate. So this kind of sample is called ideal gases. When examining an ideal gases, we want to be able to discuss four variables. These four variables are so important to know. First is pressure. Pressure is the force that the gas is exerting on its container, or how much the particles are heating on the sides, like what the right picture tells us about. Second is temperature. Temperature is the amount of heat energy available to be transferred into kinetic energy. As what the picture tells us about, the higher the temperature, the faster the particles move. Third is volume. It tells us how big the container is. And lastly is mole. Mole tells us how many particles are present in that container. In all, mole tells us how many particles Volume tells us how big the, is the container, temperature tells us how fast do the particles move, and pressure tells us how often do they hit the sides. As it turns out, of these variables depends on other. In some interesting ways, they formulated into laws. The first law is called Boyle's Law. It states that pressure and volume are inversely proportional. On the other side, Charles' law tells us that volume and temperature are directly proportional. The third law is like combination of Boyle's and Charles' law. It is called combined gas law. Avogadro's law tells us that equal volume of gas at the same temperature and pressure contain the same number of molecules. Lastly, all the variables correlate in one equation called the ideal gas law. This also contains the gas constant R, which is equal to 8.314 joules over mole times Kelvin or 0.0821 liters times ATM over mole times Kelvin. So if you're looking at a sample of a gas and you have a three of the four variables, you can solve for the fourth by using the ideal gas law. If you are given some initials and final conditions, you can use one of the other laws to find the information. Just plug in what you, what you know and solve for what you don't. Let's try this example. A hollow metal sphere with an inside diameter of 150 millimeters is weighed on a precision beam balance when evacuated and again after being filled to 875 kilopascal with an unknown gas. The difference in mass is 0.0025 kilograms, and the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. What is the gas? Assuming it is an impure substance listed in a table A.5. This is the list of substance in a table A.5. First, we have a given of a mass which is equals to 0.0025 kilograms. We have temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and that is being converted into Kelvin which is equal to 298.15. We have, we have a pressure of 875 kilopascal and we have the gas constant which is equal to 8.314 liters ATM over mole Kelvin. The first thing we do is to assume its volume by finding the volume of a sphere we have a formula 
of 5 times diameter cube over 6. By plugging in the value of our diameter and converting it into meters, we have pi times 0 0.015 cube over 6. And now we get the volume of equal 1.7671 times 10 negative 3 cubic meter. As we go to our main goal, which is to get the unknown gas, the first thing we do is by using the ideal gas law, which is PV equals nRT. Since we don't have the value of a mole, and we all know that mole is equals to m over m, which is mass over molecular mass, and our main goal is to get the molecular mass by in plugging in our mole to our ideal gas law we have now that an equation of pv equals to m over m times rt and by deriving it we arrive in a final formula which is equal to m is equals to m rt over pv since this is our formula we can now plug in our all values our mass which is 0 0.025 times our gas constant which is 8.314 times the temperature which is 298.15 all over pressure of 875 times the volume which is equal to 1.7671 times 10 to the power of 3 by calculating it we can solve it which uh, I we get the answer of mass is equals to 4.003. By looking at the table A.5, we saw that helium has a molecular weight which is equals to 4.003, and the unknown gas of the of the question above is the helium, which is our final answer.